Hi, welcome to Grant Wobble Tea Museum. This is the next addition to our gun video collection. As I mentioned before in the MP40 video, all our guns in our collection are deactivated. Um, they have to be being in the UK. Um, anyone who visits the museum, uh, we're a different kind of museum, you can hold all of these weapons. Um, so I'm going to talk a bit about the history of this gun and then show you closer our example. The STG-44 was a German assault rifle developed during World War II by Hugo Smizer. You may remember him from the last video we did on the MP40. It had a rate of fire of about 500 to 600 miles per minute, an effective firing range of 600 meters. But how did this new weapon come about? Well, during the invasion of the Soviet Union, increasing numbers of semi-automatic Tokarev SVT-38 and SVT-40s were used by the Red Army mostly elite units and non-commissioned officers. While some Soviet rifle companies were completely equipped with PPSH-41 submachine guns. After experiencing high volumes of automatic fire from these weapons, German commanders rethought their small arms requirements. The German army had been attempting to introduce semi-automatic weapons, such as the G-41, but these preferred proved troublesome in service and production was insufficient to meet requirements. Several attempts have been made to introduce lightweight machine guns or automatic rifles, but recoil from the powerful 792 by 57 mm Mauser round was too difficult to control in automatic fire. By 1941, it was becoming clear that action needed to be taken. Although various experimental rounds had been developed to one degree or another by this point, the army instead decided to select yet a new design, the 833 mm Kurtz Patron or short cartridge. This new bullet was a splitzer bullet and basic cartridge design of the standard 792 by 57 Mauser rifle cartridge. Cutting down the cartridge from the original 792 57 to 792 33 curds. This was understood that it was not ideal, but it would minimize logistical problems. As work started to move forward, development was halted when Hitler suspended all new rifle programs due to administrative infighting within the Third Reich. Hitler ordered that the newer submachine guns were to be built. He strongly disagreed with the use of the Kurz ammunition. To keep the STG development program alive, the Waffenamt office redesignated the weapon as the Machine and Pistol 43 or MP43 making a few improvements build the weapon as an upgrade to the existing submachine guns. Adolf Hitler eventually discovered the designation deception and halted the program again. In March 1943, however, he permitted it to re recommence for evaluation purposes only. Running for six months until September 43, the evaluation produced positive results and Hitler allowed the MP43 program to continue in order to make mass production possible. The first MP43s were distributed to the Waffen SS in 1943. Production and distribution continued to different units. In April 1944, Hitler took some interest in the weapons tests and ordered the weapon, with some minor updates, to be redesignated as the MP44 in July 1944. At a meeting of the various army heads about the Eastern Front, when Hitler asked what they needed, a general exclaimed, more of these new rifles. The exclamation caused some confusion. Hitler's response is reputed to have been, what new rifle? But once Hitler saw the MP44 being demonstrated, he was impressed and gave it the title Sturmgewehr, seeing the possibility of a propaganda gain. The rifle was again renamed as the Sturmgewehr 44 or STG 44. To highlight the new class of weapon it represented, the designation translates to assault rifle model 1944, thereby introducing the term assault rifle. After the war, the STG largely influenced the Soviet AK 47. Introduced two years after the war concluded, the STG's influence can still be seen in modern assault rifles today which after World War II became the global standard for many infantry rifles. Here's a closer look at our example. 
We've got the serial number there, 2598-44A. And on the back, we've got MP44. As I mentioned earlier, Hitler didn't want an assault rifle. Um, so instead of the STG-44, they were stamped Machine Pistol 44 um, to please him effectively. Sights on top. Up to 800 meters. And also... Cock and dry fire. Magazine comes out. Or magazine as well. Marked MP44. German stamps on the back. The front sight. And then the stock. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and check out all our other videos. We're going to be doing a video on every single gun in our collection at some point once I get the time to do them. Thank you for watching.